Hello, everyone. Welcome to this video. This is a new type of video that we usually have here on the, our channel. I, I have the pleasure of talking to, uh, to Rishi Desai, uh, who is um, responsible for the content at Osmosis. Um, and he's going to help us understand how we can learn pathophysiology. So Rishi, could you welcome, first of all, and uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do at Osmosis, and also how we can learn pathology, pathophysiology? Thanks. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Rishi Desai. I'm a pediatric infectious disease attending at Stanford. Um, I still see patients, which is pretty, pretty cool. And uh, I used to work at Khan Academy, worked there for a number of years, ran their Khan Academy medicine channel with, with a team of folks. And, and many of those teammates actually have joined me over here at Osmosis and essentially kind of creating these short bite-sized videos that people can understand pathophysiology with. And we have an incredible YouTube channel and, and, and uh, even extra content that, that we put just on Osmosis, uh, the website. Um, just really trying to get people to understand this material. And then it's not just videos that we get into all sorts of you know, cool things like kind of boards, review questions, flashcards, space repetition, uh, the testing effect. A lot of these kinds of learning science principles are kind of cooked into the website um, just to get people to, to really understand this material and, um, and, and really feel comfortable with it. Excellent. Yeah, I, I, I've had a chance to watch some of your videos and I, I follow the channel, by the way, it's really good. <laughs> I really love the way you guys summarize and, and make uh, fun to, to learn the, these subjects. Um, now, I have a few questions here and uh, I want to know what inspired you guys to, to start Osmosis. Yeah, I mean, it started with a couple of um, uh, observations made by Shiv Gaglani and Ryan Haynes, two medical students uh, that started it. And the idea was, you know, you learn all this stuff in school and then you have to go and find all these resources outside of school. And that felt really um, taxing. And every student is doing this, right? Um, using all sorts of uh, tools, including, you know, Ken Hub uh, to First Aid to UWorld. I mean, just it kind of runs the gamut. And so what they wanted was a, kind of a, that seamless experience. So essentially the idea was you, what if you could just upload your PowerPoint slides from school and if the PowerPoint slide has, let's say the word endocarditis, it would send you a pathophysiology video. Or if the mm -hmm. word is, um, you know, pectoralis major, it would send you a Ken Hub video. The idea is like, what if we can make that automated? And so that's basically how osmosis works. It, it kind of takes what you're learning in school and automatically sends you uh, what you need that day. And that was essentially what these two uh, students were feeling frustrated about. So that's how it started. Oh, excellent. And uh, if I'm learning pathophysiology and I'm preparing myself for the USMLE, um, how could I use uh, osmosis? So the first way is our step one study schedule tool. So it kind of breaks down like what you need to do. Like today, uh, for me, it's Friday here in Berkeley. Um, it'll tell me, okay, Friday you need to do this NBME exam. You need to make sure you read this chapter out of uh, Goljohn or Robbins. You need to kind of, kind of, kind of breaks it down for you based on exactly what you need. Um, students love that, right? Like it creates structure and order to their study process, uh, especially around boards. Um, and then taking away from that, then you can kind of say, okay, these are areas of strength. These are areas of weakness. This is what I need to focus on. Uh, maybe I, I'm terrible in micro, so I need to go watch more sketchy micro videos. Or maybe I'm terrible over here in pharmacology, I need to do more of this or that. So that's essentially the idea is like we recommend the resource that we think you need the most kind of help with. Um, but then kind of becoming that learning uh, kind of center where you can kind of get all those resources all together. Yeah, that, that's very helpful. It's always helpful to not only have some sort of guidance of telling you what to do next, so what uh, what materials to follow. So it's really good to to have that uh, that source. Um, I have I'm looking at my notes here, so forgive me for looking always uh, to the side. No, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, what makes I want to know what. People probably ask you this sometimes, why should I subscribe yeah. to uh, Osmosis? What is so special about Osmosis that I can't find anywhere else? So that's probably something you want to address? Yeah, yeah, we get that a lot. And I guess we have a lot of public facing content, especially if you go to our YouTube channel, you'll see a lot of our videos. Um, we put it out there mostly to give people a sense of kind of who we are, what we're all about. 
Um, once you join Osmosis, you get a lot of kind of perks. Uh, one is more content, more stuff that we create, kind of especially for our audience. Um, and, and really, it comes down to organization. So if you're the kind of student that feels like, you know, there's so many things out there, I'm overwhelmed. If the, if the feeling is stress or overwhelmed, um, then, then Osmosis is a good solution for you. Um, because basically, it's, it's a great tool to kind of organize your learning so that each day you know exactly what you're doing. You have your flashcards, so you don't need to worry about using, you know, a, a, something like Memorang or Anki. You can just use Osmosis. It's kind of hooked in. Um, and we have partnerships with, you know, uh, you guys can have. We have Burroughs and Cephalon. We have, you know, uh, all the first aid facts are in there. So, so whenever you're feeling kind of overwhelmed because you've got way too many resources, the whole idea is for that kind of a student, it's a good solution because then it kind of makes it much more um, comfortable. You can basically just kind of plug into Osmosis and it sends you all that other stuff automatically. So that would be the kind of student I think our tool would best appeal to. Um, in addition to the content that we create, that's kind of the, the main uh, proposition. Excellent, excellent. And by the way, for those students who are probably out there learning pathophysiology, getting ready for the USMLE, or or just learning pathophysiology in other schools, for example, other countries, uh, uh, yeah. what word of advice would you give them if they need some help, if they're lost and they <laughs> need some support? What would you tell them to do right now? The biggest thing is pathophysiology is a unique beast because I think it's very tempting to just kind of memorize it and move on. And if you try that, like for example, let's say t t type one hypersensitive reactions, you know, it's very overwhelming. Like what's type one versus type two or type three. Um, if you just try to memorize it and move on, you won't really do well on the boards. You won't really do well even as a clinician because that's not um, the way that your mind is gonna soak up the real logic behind it. What we try to do in our pathophysiology series is we try to really go deep and really give you a, a good understanding um, of what's happening so you get it on a, like a fundamental level. So I would say to any student that's out there kind of struggling with pathophys is really try to take the time now to go deep, understand the concept, uh, which we try to do in our, in our videos, and later it'll play, you know, pay off big time because then you'll really understand it. You won't have to worry about like, how does that work again? What does that do again? It'll just be logical and, and, and easy. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's really good advice. I think it's always good to to know that there is a way to to start, and also there are tools out there that can help uh, people uh, that can help anyone who's who's learning this subject. Now, so just a few words of wisdom that you just shared with us, but I want to. Uh, I think we covered. Uh, everything I would say. <laughs> um, maybe you want to just uh, talk a little bit about osmosis where people can find you guys and yeah a little bit we about can, that. Um, for sure I mean anyone that wants to check us out osmosis.org osmosis.org um, we have a, a two-week free trial for anybody to kind of play around with it see if it's a good tool for them if they like it the, the interface and all that um, I'm incredibly proud of it I think our team is just brilliant and I'm really excited that uh, that we have these these uh, tools for students to kind of check out um, I think in terms of words of wisdom the best thing that, that if you remember one thing from 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 me it would be you know just try to make learning as fun as possible uh, for yourself and there are a lot of tools out there um, if you can just make it fun it'll be a good experience you'll learn it better um, and and ultimately that's what we all care about you know the people that create these tools um, like osmosis and Ken Hub and all the rest they, they do it because um, because they want to make the experience a better one for others. And yeah. so if, if that's working for you, then, then that's my advice. I think we have something in common. We started, uh, you guys started Osmosis, we started Ken Hub in a way to just uh, break the, the, the mold <laughs> and start doing something in a more fun way because learning should be fun. I mean, if we're doing, if we want to follow this path, we should be having fun. Uh, it takes time to learn, so we should be having fun. So thank you exactly. so much. Sorry to interrupt you, but <laughs> there's a little bit lag. It no, did. no, I was just saying exactly. I'm just like, amen, preach on. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for, for joining us, Rishi, and for your words of advice. And I think this is it. I'll see you guys cool. next time. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.